Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how to make an indexed table view. Also, you need to know always there's a link to source code in comments. Okay, so let's start our uh, project. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna show you how will be our output. So we'll have one table view with sections and uh, you know by A, B, C, uh, you know, indexed, and if you tap on any, uh, you know, character, it will take you to that one. Okay, so let's start our project. So file new project. Yes, yeah, single view app, iOS, Swift. So UI table view indexed for Swift language. So this already exists. I said that it doesn't matter. Go ahead and replace it. Okay. So uh, as soon as uh, I am, uh, you know, I have uh, my project ready. Uh, first of all, I go and. Uh, change you know where I want to have my project being run in uh, test plus so I choose uh, iPhone 8 plus you can choose whatever you like I have already that one open so I choose that one and then I'll go to the main storyboard I select my main view controller I'm gonna remove it this is the default one I want to use a different one so and here, if uh, you know library, if you type uh, an A, just you will go to navigation controller. So uh, I'm gonna drop this here. This one, uh, I'll, I'll give me navigation uh, plus you know one table you already. Since we uh, delete this one, uh, you know our default domain, I'm gonna delete uh, this one as well. So yeah, move to trash and uh, default view controller. So here, I'm gonna create new file cocoa touch and uh, this one I select uh, from subclasses UI table view and here you can name your class uh, so whatever you want you can add I'm gonna choose same table view controller and yes uh, drop it there for me so now if you go to your main storyboard and your in your table view if you go to identity inspector here you here yes uh, you can uh, choose table view controller because this is table view uh, controller okay so uh, now also uh, one is the one thing extra we need to do we need to mention because we delete our default view so we need to mention that you know this is gonna be our initial view otherwise uh, software don't know where go and run so just uh, check mark this one and you will see this uh, arrow will come just uh, in front of our navigation okay so uh, now we just jump to our table view and here we can start our coding so here I need uh, some uh, direct uh, some actually variable some parameter uh, actually some properties so in this graph for this class so I just say car dictionary equal a string of it's array of string because it's going to be our sections and also I make where core section titles I make it equal a string yeah but uh, you know this is initial value so I just uh, put uh, uh, open and close uh, parentheses in there and also one variable another one for cars with gonna be 
equal string you know you can uh, do it uh, you know declare the right this as well so if you like yeah we can go ahead and do it in this way up to you about uh, doing the same okay so now in uh, my view did load uh, I need to give uh, some uh, value to my car so you know I have uh, this one already so I put it here so some cars already you can add even more in there then I'm gonna make my other uh, array so I just say for car in cars let car key equal a string car dot perfect one so I just pick up the first character then here I just say if var car values equal cars dictionary car key then do this so just say car values equal car So uh, I'm gonna append it to there. So uh, car value dot append car. I see that uh, yeah, this uh, get something replace perfect split. Oh yes, <laughs> prefix. Okay. And uh, yes, uh, then I'm also I'm gonna say car dictionary car key equal car values. In uh, otherwise, uh, I'm gonna say well, I'm gonna not gonna append it there because already we have it. So I just say car dictionary. car key equal array of car also uh, I'm gonna say okay car section titles equal array of string from car dictionary dot keys and also I'm gonna sort it so I just say car section titles equal car section titles dot Sorted by uh, disclosure, just I uh, just say prefix prefix uh, zero, argument number zero, smaller than argument number one. Okay, the other one, uh, you know, uh, now because it's uh, the, it's made all of the functions for me, just uh, I need to 
do something. So number of sections will be car sections title dot count. And the number of row in section the will be I need to calculate it so uh, I just say okay let car key equal car section title dot section number and if you been able to get core value for me from core dictionary with index car key if you could do this then return for values dot count otherwise return z okay so this for number of sections in this and now I need to make my table view for cell for this one so I'm gonna remove this and here I need to doing my code so I just say okay let cell equal table view dot d q yeah reusable cell for identifier cell so here uh, let's see what is our identifier it should make sure to, it's gonna be this so you will go to your cell and select your cell and come here in here so we need to put cell here as well this is identifier we just talk about it there so and here I just say index path okay and now we will say let car key equal for section titles index path dot section and if I could get it you say let's car values from car dictionary and car key if quit doing that say okay so the text label dot text equal for values index path dot row yeah we should be fine now just here we got error for this cell says oh we double declared yes This one was already there, but yeah, I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna use my own. Okay, and the other one is overriding table view, this one. 
and uh, this one so override table view for title for header no, no not this one excuse me I choose the wrong one title for header yeah I'm gonna write it myself here so uh, I just type here title for header yeah you'll see for footer for header title for header return a string what's different between these two yeah, I choose this one and I just say this one return car section title section and the last one section index title I just say return dot core section title yeah so we made all of this you know I just do some cleanup these are very useful if you can uh, read them you can make it more customized but for now yeah we should be fine now let me run it and see how it's gonna be yeah here we go and we have our table view and each one if we just tab on this it will take us to that index yeah you will see how easy you can make an index table view. it will be very useful for your users and uh, yeah that's it uh, for today I hope uh, you like this uh, and if you like it please make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe for more video like this all with source code and finally you know guaranteed to work and yeah if you have any question please ask and comment i will be more than happy to help you i wish the best for you and have a good one bye bye